You check your phone and see that Bitcoin is worth $100,000. Last year it was worth $30,000. Five years ago, it was $5,000. Ten years ago, it was practically nothing. What kind of weird money keeps going up like this? Today, I'll explain why Bitcoin keeps increasing in value to you like you're five years old. And by the end of this, you'll understand why this invisible computer money acts like the world's most confusing piggy bank that somehow keeps getting fuller. Bitcoin isn't actually coins that you can hold in your hand. It's not shiny metal disks with presidents on them. It's computer money that lives inside computers and phones. Kind of like how your favorite video game characters live inside your gaming console. But unlike your video game coins that you can make as many as you want by playing more levels, Bitcoin has a very special rule. There can only ever be 21 million Bitcoins in the whole world. That's it. No more, no less. It's like if someone said that there could only ever be 21 million Pokemon cards in existence. And once they're all made, no one can ever make another one. Now, imagine you have a really cool toy that everybody wants. But there are only 21 million of these toys in the entire world. What happens when more and more kids want the toy, but there aren't enough toys for everyone? Well, the prices go up. If Tommy really wants the toy and Sally really wants the toy, but there's only one toy left, they might offer more and more allowance money in order to get it. That's basically what's happening with Bitcoin. More people want it, but there's only a limited amount, so the price keeps climbing higher and higher. But why do people want Bitcoin in the first place? Well, Bitcoin is special because no single person or government controls it. Regular money, like the dollars in your piggy bank, is controlled by something called a government. Government can decide to print more money whenever they want, kind of like if your teacher could just make more gold stars whenever she felt like it. But Bitcoin doesn't work that way. It's controlled by thousands and thousands of computers all around the world, working together like a giant team. No one person can just decide to make more Bitcoin. The computers follow very strict rules that can't be changed easily. Think of it like this. Imagine if your allowance was decided not by your parents, but by every parent in your entire neighborhood working together. They all had to agree before anyone's allowance could change. And imagine if there was a rule that said there could only ever be a certain amount of allowance given out to all the kids combined. Forever. That's kind of how Bitcoin works. It's money that doesn't belong to any one country or any one person. It belongs to everyone and no one at the same time. People like this idea because sometimes governments make decisions about money that people don't really like. Sometimes governments print out so much money that the money becomes worth less. Like if your teacher gave out so many gold stars that getting a gold star didn't feel special anymore. When people worry that their regular money might become worthless, they sometimes buy Bitcoin instead. Because remember, no one can just make more Bitcoin whenever they feel like it. Another reason Bitcoin keeps going up is because big companies and rich people started buying it. Imagine if all the grown-ups in your town decided that Pokemon cards were actually really valuable and started buying them to keep in their safes. Suddenly, Pokemon cards would become much more expensive because all these grown-ups with lots of money were buying them up. That's what happened with Bitcoin. First, it was just computer nerds buying it. Then, regular people started buying it as well. And then the rich people came along and started snagging up as much as they could get. And soon enough, entire companies started buying it and keeping it like they keep gold or other valuable things. Some people buy Bitcoin because they think it's like digital gold. Gold has been valuable for thousands of years because it's shiny, rare, and doesn't rust or break down. But gold is very heavy and it's hard to carry around. I mean, you can't email gold to your friend on the other side of the world. Bitcoin is like gold that lives in computers. It's rare like gold, because remember, there can only ever be 21 million of them. But unlike gold, you can send Bitcoin to anyone in the world almost instantly, just by typing on a computer. It's like if gold could fly through the internet. Oh, here's another important thing. Bitcoin is really, really hard to steal or fake. Every Bitcoin transaction gets written down in a special book that's copied on thousands of computers and around the world. It's like if every time you traded Pokemon cards with your friends, Thousands of people wrote down exactly what happened in their notebooks. If someone tried to lie and say that they gave you a card when they didn't, everyone else's notebooks would prove that they were lying. And this makes people trust Bitcoin even more. And when people start trusting something more, they're willing to pay more for it. Bitcoin also goes up in value because it's becoming easier to use. At first, only computer experts could figure out how to buy and use Bitcoin. It was like trying to play a video game that didn't come with instructions and all the buttons were labeled in a foreign language. But now, there are apps on phones that make buying Bitcoin as easy as buying a song on iTunes. 
When something becomes easier to use, again, more people start using it. And when more people want something that's limited, the price goes up. Some countries even have problems with their regular money. Maybe their government prints too much money, or maybe their money becomes worth less and less over time. So people in these countries sometimes buy Bitcoin because it's the same everywhere in the world. A Bitcoin in Japan is worth the same as a Bitcoin in Brazil, which is worth the same as a Bitcoin in Canada. It's like having a universal toy that's worth the same amount no matter which playground you're on. There's also something called network effects happening with Bitcoin. Now, this is a fancy way of saying that Bitcoin becomes more valuable as more people use it. Kind of like how a telephone becomes more useful when more people have telephones. If you were the only person in the world with a telephone, it wouldn't be very useful, would it? But when millions of people have telephones, suddenly your telephone can connect you to millions of people. Bitcoin works similarly. The more people who use Bitcoin, the more useful it becomes, and the more valuable it becomes. Another reason that Bitcoin keeps going up is because people think it'll keep going up. Now, this might sound silly, but it's actually really important. If everyone believes that something will be worth more tomorrow than it is today, then they'll buy it today. It's like if everyone believed that Pokemon cards were going to be worth twice as much next month. Everyone would try to buy Pokemon cards now, which would make the price go way, way up. This is called speculation, and it's a very big reason why Bitcoin's price moves up and down so much. Bitcoin also benefits from something called scarcity. Remember how there can only ever be 21 million Bitcoins? Well, it gets even more interesting. Every few years, the amount of new Bitcoin that gets created gets cut in half. It's like if your allowance got cut in half every few years, but the number of chores you had to do stay the same. This makes Bitcoin even more scarce over time, and scarce things tend to become more valuable. Some people also lose their Bitcoin forever. I mean, they forget their passwords or their computers break, or they accidentally throw away the piece of paper where they wrote down their secret codes. Well, when Bitcoin gets lost like this, it's gone forever. Nobody can get it back. It's like if Pokemon cards could just disappear into thin air and never be found again. This makes the remaining Bitcoin even more rare. Big institutions like banks and investment companies have started offering Bitcoin to their customers. This is like if toy stores started selling Pokemon cards in the grown-up section instead of just the kids section. When grown-ups with lots of money can easily buy something, they often do, especially if they think it'll be worth more later. These institutions manage money for lots of people, so when they buy Bitcoin, they're buying a lot of it all at once. The technology behind Bitcoin keeps getting better as well. Newer ways to use Bitcoin are being invented all the time. It's like if Pokemon cards started getting new powers and abilities that made them more useful for different games. As Bitcoin becomes more useful, more people want it. And as more people want it, again, the price tends to go up. Some people also buy Bitcoin as insurance against bad things happening to regular money. They think that if something really bad happened to the dollar or the regular money, that Bitcoin might still be valuable because it's separate from any government. It's like keeping some of your toys at a friend's house just in case something happens to your room. Even if you never need this insurance, just having it makes people feel better, and they're willing to pay for that feeling. Media attention also makes Bitcoin's price go up. When Bitcoin gets talked about on TV or in newspapers, more people learn about it. Some of those people decide they want to buy some, which again increases demand. It's like when a toy gets featured in a commercial and suddenly every kid wants it. The more attention Bitcoin gets, the more people want to buy it. Bitcoin has also become a status symbol for some people. Owning Bitcoin makes some people feel smart and modern, like they're part of the future. It's like having the newest, coolest gadget that shows everyone you know about technology. People sometimes buy things not just because they're useful, but because owning them makes them feel good about themselves. The global nature of Bitcoin is another factor. Unlike regular people that belongs to specific countries, Bitcoin works the same way everywhere. This makes it attractive to people who do business in multiple countries or who want to send money across borders without dealing with banks and exchange rates. It's like having a universal language that everyone in the world understands. So, let's recap this whole digital money adventure. Bitcoin keeps going up because there's only ever going to be 21 million of them, and more and more people want them. Big companies are buying them, they're getting easier to use, and people think that they'll be worth even more in the future. It's like the world's most popular limited edition toy that everyone wants, but hardly anyone can make. So now you understand why this computer money keeps climbing higher than a monkey on a caffeine rush. Don't go trading your lunch money for Bitcoin just yet, though.